been asked to remove this um, colt rail, this piece of timber. Um, you can see the colt hook there. I've already moved a couple and I'm starting to locate where I think there's going to be nails because these won't be screws. This property is about 100 years old and looking at the way this is sitting in the plaster, that's been there since the house was built. one out. Now I just need to locate where the nails are. So I know there's already two at this end. So obviously there's going to be some at this end and some in the middle. So I've got a magnet on the end of a piece of wood. And I just need to find where these are sitting. Alright, so there's one. The other, so I know there's some here, so I just need to mark this. Now, there's the others. crowbar and hammer. I'm just going to sit the crowbar onto the top of the wood there where the nails are. used to print the bit work. That's it, that's out now. But we'll just flatten these off.
that's it. Bit of filling to do, but it would be expected if it's been um, plastered on. Here. I will do what they call PVA, thin PVA, diluted, um, and then we'll give it a back fill and then skim over it to finish it. That won't be a problem, but it just removes that unsightly bit of wood. So I've got my thin PVA, diluted PVA, and flat brush. We'll give it a good soak. runs down like that once you've finished wipe up don't leave it Uh, plaster on now. So that's the stuff we're using specifically for hard walls. And now I've got my board, plastering trowel, and a pointing trowel there. A bit of water, it's probably about two litres of water in there. I'm not doing a great deal and I don't want to over mix. And there's my paddle for, for mixing this up. First job to apply some of this PVA. So this is um, one part water and three parts PVA. So that's quite a thick mix that that helps the plaster bond. I'm just making sure that it gets all over the surface into any gaps. Make sure there's nothing left anywhere. It'll make a mess. It dries quite solid. And now what I can do is I'll just let this go off. It's all tacky. I'll mix me undercoat. This is ready for mixing now. But before I do any mixing, I'm going to put my mask on. It's essential that you use a mask. Okay, so. We get this water agitated first, just get it stirred up. And just add a bit of the plaster. I want to start gently, not too much power, because it will go everywhere. Okay. 
Okay, so that's the mixing done. And if you see the, that's the consistency you're looking for. You want it to, to cling to your trowel. If you're doing a large area, you could put it out on a board. But again, I'm only plank, I've only got a small bit to do. So that's okay, I can work out the bucket. I'm going to start in the corner first, putting the board underneath. I'm literally just taking a bit and just pulling it in. Make sure you push it in. Keeping your board against the wall, collecting any drips. Look a bit thin this step. But it soon goes off. It's starting to go off on the wall already. And what you don't want to do is have it too flush with the surface. You need to allow a bit of room for your finishing plaster. I'm just taking the level back a little bit there. Now when this starts to go off, what we'll do is score it here with this finishing plaster. As this stuff starts to harden up, we want to score it with the finishing plaster just to give it a key. I'm allowing it to go off a little bit stops it from dragging too much. Once you've finished putting this undercoat plaster on, clean all your tools. I've scraped any bits off this, cleaned it off, dusted it down so there's no contamination when I'm putting this finishing plaster on. And also when you mix this, make sure everything's completely clean. And it's just straight onto the wall.
get this first one on. I'll leave it for a while and then I can add another surface layer and I'll be able to polish off. I've left this now for 20 minutes and it's ready for just skimming over. absolute smoothness at this point. Just get this coat on. Get this coat on, leave it, and then after about an hour, come back and close it in, which is basically taking your trowel down to an angle of so much closer to the wall with firm pressure, and then we can spread it out and flatten it off. I've let this go off now for about an hour, and depending on absorption um, and heat and humidity, this can go off fairly quickly. So this is now ready for what they call closing in, where I just need to flatten it off and it will resist the pressure that was starting to harden off. So applying a lot of pressure, just draw the trowel over the surface. I've just got a damp cloth, not wet, just, just slightly damp, just because I've just taken everything off. And then just keep going over. small divots or anything it will it will flatten the plaster off. The trick is not to try and do it when you're first skimming. It's at this point that you can actually flatten it off. Again, this is only a small area. If you're working a bigger area, then you would leave it a bit longer and then come back with a clean trowel and a damp cloth and start to smooth it off again. But that's fine for that. And once you've finished all your plastering, you need to clean all these tools. A bucket of warm water and a brush and clean it all. And whatever you do, don't empty that down your drains or down the sink, better onto a bare patch of soil.